Welcome to JHeart Model Works. I'm Justin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make floor mats like this simply and easily using mostly to tools and materials that you already have in your toolbox. The only material in this tutorial that you may not already have is the flocking material, which is the carpeting material, and honestly, that is an optional extra. Welcome to my workbench. Let's get started. Now before we begin, I just want to go over the tools we're going to be using for this. I'm going to use some Tamiya tape, a marker, pen, pencil, some form of marking instrument, toothpicks or cotton swabs, something to use as a burnishing tool. scissors and or your hobby knife, some instruments of cutting, paint, and optionally I'm going to add some flocking to mine just to give it some, uh, some texture. So let's begin. All right, so we have our interior tub. off a piece of Tamiya tape here. I'm just going to burnish this down. I like to do this before uh, I paint. That way I'm not, you know, putting tape down onto painted parts. I'm going to push paint tape down, pull it up, push it down, pull it up repeatedly. And if you're doing this on a surface that you've already painted, you can pull up your paint. There we go. Want to make sure that you have everything covered that you want covered by your floor mat. I'm going to go in here with my Sharpie. And I'm just going to mark off finish that down better into these corners real quick. Let's give this a rough graft for our floor mat. So now I'm going to put another piece of tape down because that wasn't a real good surface there. Uh, trying to cut it, I, I basically I ripped some of the tape right here on this corner trying to get it burnished into that corner, so I'm going to make a new template. Just drawing over the lines, so I placed another piece of tape over the original piece of tape. 
I'm just redrawing. centered sorry about that so I've placed a piece of tape on top of the original piece and I've redrawn the pattern on the new piece of tape so that it's not torn in that one corner Now I'm going to take a piece of tape that's a little more than twice the length of my floor mat pattern. And I'm going to lay another piece of tape over that on one side. Then I'm going to take my pattern piece and lay that on top. So that's going to give us some thickness to our floor mat. Now we're going to take the extra top half and we want to thin this down. Just want to make sure that when you fold it over, it covers all of this. This way you don't have sticky on one side of your floor mat. Now I like to take my scissors, just a pair of cheap mustache trimming scissors. And I like to trim just inside the line. Be careful going around those top corners. Exacto knife. And that is the base for a floor mat. Do a quick test fit. Make sure it fits in where we want it to fit. But for the most part, that is it. And of course, we're not going to stop there. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and put some paint down on this. I'm using Tamiya Acrylics 
for the base color for the Ford GT, I'm using their XF24 Dark Gray. So I'm going to use this as the base color for my floor mat. And I will be back once I've got it painted. Alright, we are back. I went ahead and make the passenger side floor mat as well. Uh, went ahead and sprayed them with a little bit of UMP Gray Primer and then sprayed them with the dark gray. Uh, when I saw them with the dark gray, I decided to go ahead and light them a little bit. So I just added a bit of medium gray in there as well and mixed that up. So this, it's just like a shade lighter than the dark gray, just enough that it might show up against the, the floor better. Uh, if you're wondering how I painted them, I just threw a tiny bit of blue tack onto a piece of cardboard and then press them down into the blue tack. If you don't have blue tack, you can just fold a piece of uh, masking tape over itself, just a real small piece, so that you've got like a sticky surface and then you just press them right down like that and they hold, they at least hold enough for you to paint them. So next, I'm going to take some Tamiya tape. I want to detack it so I don't rip the paint off when I pull it back up. And I'm masking just barely over the edge so that I make a border. Using some Tamiya tape, I have gone ahead and masked a border around both of these floor masks. I've also gone ahead and cut some Ford logo shapes out. I basically just used the photo etch fret from the Hobby Design Studio set and used the fret portion where I cut the hood ornament decal out to make a mask out of some Tamiya tape. I'm masking these off because I've got some extra Ford logo decals and I'm just going to pop those in after I flock the carpet again. I'm not going to go too in-depth into the flocking portion of this. I have a video if you check my how-to section. Uh, one of the videos in that playlist is a how-to on how to flock. What I am going to do is take some flat black, brush it onto the floor mat surface. And once that's fully dry, we'll come back and we'll take a look at the results. And we're back. I've gone ahead and unmasked everything and added some four logos to the floor mats. And I think they came out pretty well. Go ahead and do our final test seat. I think those are going to do just nicely. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a like at the bottom and give me some comments in the bottom as well. I respond to as many comments as I can. If there's something else that you're interested in seeing another tutorial, something else that you're interested in seeing, let me know as well. I can look into seeing if that's something I can do. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well and click the bell icon so you can be notified of any new content that I make. And as always, Thank you for watching and have a great day.